Welcome back to the Daily Dean. It's a Monday apparently, and I want to talk about something related to opinions. Now, I, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I'm playing 17 minutes of relaxing ukulele music, royalty free music, that says it's public domain, and mostly just because I wanted to play ukulele music, and that's what I'm listening to. So, there. Now, when you talk, when you have an opinion, it's usually something like, you know, subjective, right? And I feel like that is a very important thing to emphasize. And when you have something you enjoy, for example, pineapple on pizza, wearing socks to bed, or um, enjoying uh, the DCEU movies, right? Those things are typically things that are hated on, right? Oh, you like pineapple on pizza? Oh, you enjoy Justice League? Oh, you wear socks to bed? And I just feel like there's some things that people should just be able to enjoy, okay? So I feel like there's also people who don't really like mean that, like they don't actually take disgust when they hear somebody who enjoys pineapple on pizza. They're just trying to adhere to some kind of like, like modeling that they've developed because they've seen other people like act that way. And it kind of starts this cycle, right? If you see somebody hating on pineapple and pizza, then you're like, you're kind of subconsciously inclined to join them because it's like, hey, if you don't like pineapple on pizza, let me join with you because that's like a bonding thing. But people take it like, you know, way, way farther than that. Like, oh my gosh, is that pineapple? You know, backhand slap, like, whoa, bro, I just, you know, I like pineapple. What's wrong with that on my pizza? So just that, you know, if somebody likes something and they derive happiness from it, let them be, you know? Like, if I am comfy wearing socks to bed, you know, I just want to live my best life. And I feel like that's a model we can all follow, right? If you, if this is a very general rule of thumb, it won't apply to everything, but if you don't have anything really nice to say or contribute to somebody's happiness, it is not a very wise choice to say that thing. Let me give another example, okay? Somebody just got done watching Justice League, right? And they're like, oh my gosh, that was my, that was a really good movie, I enjoyed that. And then somebody else comes out after just finishing, I don't know, Spider-Man Homecoming, and they're like, ah, oh, Justice League! You know that movie was like blank, 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 right? Somebody was just talking about how much they enjoyed this particular movie, right? And I feel like that person should be able to speak that way without being, you know, hated on. Because that's how that person expresses their joy, right? If the only thing you have to share is like spite or disgust or anger that could possibly put that person down just for being happy, you know why? For example, or no, no just for uh, emphasis, you want to be spreading happiness, right? You want to be making the world a better place. That's like a great thing. It should make you feel great, right? So um, when you have things that are nice to say, say to somebody, compliments like, hey, uh, I like what you what you do with your hair today, or like, um, hey, uh, I uh, appreciated your help on that math test, right? That's a great way to share happiness. But if you're trying to detract from somebody's happiness, if you're trying to stifle somebody's laughter, right? Oh, why do you laugh like that? That's such a weird laugh. Oh, why do you smile like that? That's such a weird smile. Those ways of people expressing their happiness, I'm reala realizing I'm going on a tangent now. Um, just let those people be happy, right? If we all globally or communitively bring everybody up, the world inherently becomes a better place because everybody is now experiencing a collective boost in happiness. So that's my talk for the day. Thank you.